This is my hour. Hi there, everybody, and welcome back to yet another great episode of Mind Power. My name is Bryce L. Tomlinson from NewDepthMedia.com, and today we're going to do an unboxing of the Canon PIXMA MG3220 printer, scanner, copier, all-in-one. It says compact and stylish photo all-in-one with Wi-Fi connectivity. So uh, today I want to just talk a little bit about this thing before I open it up. Uh, and that is that um, I wanted to get a new printer, you know, and um, I had a laser printer and it kind of died on me. And um, I'd had a Canon PIXMA before, uh, MP240, and I really liked it a lot. Uh, and it, it was cheap, it was, um, it was easy to use. Uh, the the cartridges, however, as any of you guys know, the cartridges for inkjet printers are they're kind of really expensive, and it's kind of not worth it to buy cartridges, uh, which sort of sadly makes printers almost disposable. Uh, it's almost as much to buy a printer as it is to buy the. Uh, ink for it so in essence what I did was I bought a new printer and I figure you know what with this business of mine if I have to buy a new printer once a year I'm not gonna really balk at it so uh, without further ado let's unbox the uh, Canon PIXMA MG3220 printer now, I did cut the box open but I haven't actually gotten into it so here is the CD this is the setup CD-ROM um, I'm gonna assume this is for the PC. Uh, U 1.1. It doesn't actually say whether it's for the PC or for the Mac, but it is a Canon setup CD. We'll find out later on. And here I have the wireless help card here. I have the fax help there too. Multiple languages. Apple AirPrint for Apple AirPrint users. Then you have another piece of literature here that is the limited warranty. Everyone's gonna read that, right? Uh, safety and important information. Okay, that's great stuff. The manual that I'll maybe read. So yes, this is the Canon PIXMA MG3220 Getting Started Guide. It looks like it has some uh, kind of neat illustrations here to show how to set it up. Oh, it's a fold out. I love these. Like, why do they make them like this? Are we gonna, am I gonna decorate my wall with it? I, you know, hey, well, I guess, you know, I'll figure it out. Folks, we'll figure it out together. So uh, moment of truth now, I'm going to, uh, Let's see, let's tip this over. It will undoubtedly come out easier that way. Oh. Oh. Styrofoam packy things. Man, this has got like crevices and weird things sticking out everywhere. A little piece of styrofoam cut in an interesting shape to fit inside of a weird place. Huh? Okay, come off now. And this is styrofoam, stuffy things. And we'll get to the printer in a minute. I like to save the juicy stuff for last. This is a cardboard fortress. Now this, I'm assuming, power cord. Looks like a regular, like what I plug my shaver into. Simple power cord and a USB cable. Standard AB USB cable. Let's open it up. It's actually interesting that this one has one. Because from what I've heard from salespeople, most of them don't. So uh, most of the new printers don't have a built-in or, you know, they don't come with a USB cable. I guess they assume that everyone in the world has like a boatload of USB cables. Guilty. So the other two things in this little box are the printer cartridges 
and pretty sizable printer cartridges but if you know anything about printer cartridges most times the ones that ship with them are not they're not high capacity they're not really full full this is a, a little known tip for you as you go to the office store to buy your ink look for the cartridges that have more ink in them so you will pay less money the more ink you buy so if you're uh, if you're shopping at Costco for ink or you're shopping at Office Depot, Office Max or Amazon, look for the milliliters that are on the box, okay? There are they should be printed with the online information too. Let's open up this beautiful creation. It is handsome. You know, I have to say, I happen to like matte finish. So this has got that nice matte finish texture to it. Of course, they've got tapey stuff all over it to keep it uh, I guess safe from people who steal tape or, or something I, I don't know um it's just to keep everything in place i'm sure it does four by six photo paper i'm told it does edge to edge prints then it also does eight and a half by eleven plain paper and photo paper i'm not sure if it does edge to edge on eight and a half by eleven the other one that i had had like a pull out gizmo kind of did the same thing and then you have a little catcher hook on there and then this pops out and I'm sure that as soon as you pop this open, the little uh, ink carrier things slide over. The other one uh, that I had did that and it was really handy. Made it so easy to change the cartridges that you couldn't even, you couldn't even balk at it. Except for the fact that they're so expensive that you might as well buy a new printer. So that's what I did. Hey guys, um, this is the um, Pixma 3220. It's got this kind of barrel look to the back of it here. I'll just kind of let you guys get a look. And uh, the bottom of it looks kind of printer-y. And uh, the top of it looks kind of uh, scanner-y. So we have this lovely glass scanner. It's nice to have a nice clean new scanner once in a while because they do tend to get dirty and scuffy and whatever, especially the way that I beat them up. Another baggie that doesn't have anything in it. I'm disappointed. I wanted something to be in there. Hey, thanks for watching this episode and I uh, hope that you really enjoyed it. Go out and get yourself a uh, Pixma 3220. The links will be in the description if you want any more information. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can help me out by clicking those like and favorite buttons down below. And if you enjoy seeing tech tutorials, reviews, and more, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I hope you do. Also, if you have any questions or ideas to contribute, make sure you tell me about it in the comments below. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time on Mind Power.